Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some NBA news. We have probably a lot to discuss here. Just one story from Woj about some trading draft picks in um, tomorrow's NBA draft. Probably do a mock draft tonight. Get my, not only mock draft, but this, uh, just get one mock draft, because the draft's tomorrow, so I'll just get my dra dra mock draft tonight and... So, yeah, but let's get into this news. One story from Woj, probably get some stuff from Shams as well, and NBA Central. But let's get into it. So, you run to it. So, the Denver Nuggets, they are trading the, are trading 2024, a 2024 first round pick and 2023 40th pick to the Indiana Pacers for pick 29 and 32 on Thursday, sources tell ESPN. And Denver just knows how to run shit there. They have a good front office, and they're trying to road, load up on talent before the new CBA hits, and basically, if you don't know what that means, it's somebody would be better with the specifics of it than I am, but it's basically the league's owners and the players' union. They negotiate, like, a new contract uh, that far benefits uh, the owners, but it doesn't go in effect until July 1st, so anything teams do before July 1st is governed under the old government. That's basically what that means. And it makes it harder for you to forward quality role players if you have two max guys and if you have three you basically can't afford and can't afford anything besides minimum guys so yeah but that's this is actually a very good move considering their pick next year will be in the 25 30 range and it lets them get more solid young players to contribute while they continue with their young core i think this is a great great move this is not a useless move the nuggets are making moves they've been cooking these last two weeks and they're trying to run it back get some more younger players and the Nuggets are trading the least favorable of its 2024 first round picks in, de in a deal to move into the first round and early second and Thursday's NBA draft per sources so the, it gives the Pacers a first round pick next year it'll probably be a late first rounder but yeah so as the Nuggets, they prepare for the possibility of losing Bruce Brown free agency. If that does happen, they could lose Bruce Brown free agency. That's part of the reason I think they did this trade to get picks 29 and 32. So they'll be drafting at no, picks 29, 30, 32, and 37 on Thursday with a chance to keep gathering young role players for the championship window. GM Calvin Booth picked Christian Brown, Christian Brown at number 21 last year, and the Pacers would this have four picks on Thursday's draft. Number 27, 26, 40, and 55, they'll be remaining, they'll be remaining active in talks elsewhere. I, th I think they have either the 6th or 7th pick, I can't remember. But that's the trade between the Nuggets and the Pacers. So that's all from uh, Mr. Mr. Woj here. Now let's get to uh, Shams. So we'll probably have some news. Uh, from Shams Charania. Charania, Harry fucking say his name. So we have a big story to discuss here. Per sources, a big three-team trade that could go down between the Wizards, the Celtics, and the Clippers. Are, they are in strong talks on a trade that would send Chris Stotts Porzingis to Boston, Marcus Morris and draft compensation to Washington and Malcolm Brogdon to Los Angeles. The sides are still working through details and Porzingis is $36 million player option. So I don't know what the Wizards starting five is going to be looking like next year. It's going to be trash. They're not going to win games. But if I was a Clippers fan, I'd be happy with this. Get Marcus Morris off my team, one of the top three worst players in the league last year. But yeah, he's, he's trash. So Wizards fans, I mean, they, the only way you can be happy is if you get some multiple first round picks with the draft compensation. Because I don't, because if you don't, yeah, that's a terrible trade. Just Marcus Morris. The Wizards are literally trading their best players. I mean, there's obviously draft capital involved, just not mentioned, but... I don't know. I don't know what the draft picks yet, but my, but if it's trash draft picks, then ugh. but Malcolm Brown, that's a good. That could be a good pickup for the Los Angeles Clippers to send Marcus Morris out just to get a better player that can provide more in Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, Boston needs needed Porzingis. 
can stretch the floor. So I think it's a good move. I think this is a win. A win for the Celtics Clippers. Definitely an L for the Wizards. And let, I will say it's a, it would would be a W if they get some multiple first round draft picks and good draft compensation. I'll say that. But so that's the latest on Chris Knox Porzingis. So Denver Nuggets guard slash forward Bruce Brown, he is current he he has declined his six point eight million dollar player option for the 2023-24 season and will become a free agent source as hell, the athletic and stadium. Brown, a key member of the Nuggets tile, faced the decision of Denver return free agency versus a deal as elsewhere. I thought um they said they were gonna run it back. I mean, he would make more money to climb his option and sign a new deal with Denver. I think he'll, I think they'll run it back. I really do. But he'll just get more money, which I think he deserves. He's about to get paid a lot, though. If he doesn't return, he's about to get paid a lot. So we have some updated financial figures for the 2023-24 NBA season. There's the 10% maximum increase. League informed teams today, $136 million salary cap, $2 million higher than the prior projection, $165 million Luxury tax level three million higher than the prior. So some very good news there about how the money there from the salary cap and the luxury tax. All right, so that's all from Shams and Woj. So we're gonna get to NBA, the NBA Central. So that was about seven minutes. So per a report here, the Houston Rockets they have discussed. Trading up for Miami Heat the, for their number 18 selection. I feel like the Rockets need everything they can to get in order con to in order like to contend again. So per Woj ESPN on the Pat McAfee sh McAfee show. I just talked about Bruce Brown most likely leaving, quote, the Denver Nuggets are very likely to lose Bruce Brown free agency, end quote. So that tells me Bruce Brown's going to get paid a lot of money after that championship run. And I remember when they said, we're going to run it back, um, Michael Malone said, but it's the end of an era, I guess he wants to get paid. But he's, I mean, he's so good to make little money. So... I guess it, Bruce Brown's not going to run it back. So I, I, that's a big loss for the Denver Nuggets. That so that tells me that's why they did that trade I talked about at the beginning was because they were because they're prepared to lose Bruce Brown. The Blazers have shut down all trade calls on Damian Lillard. Per Woj ESPN on the Pat McAfee show, so they've shut down all trade calls on Dame Dalla. Well, it's official. Damian Lillard ain't getting any rings in his future. It's up saying you know he's not going to win a ring with that joke of a front office. I mean, it's just pathetic. They're, we're never going to escape this. So he's just going to waste his career there like I've talked about uh, through all these news. Like, what are they going to do? If you're going to stay there, at least get him a co-star and make a good team. But this is potentially the greatest what-if in NBA history for a player that's healthy. It's just such an unserious organization. So, per Chris B. Haynes here, quote, From what I'm hearing, dot, 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 Scoot would like to be in New Orleans, end quote. Well, the only way it's going to happen is if the Pelicans can trade into the top three. The Pelicans deserve Scoot. But I just don't know how they're going to get that trade. If they, if they trade, I don't know how they're going to get it done. But from what I'm hearing, they're not picking top five, so. I'm going to say that sarcastically, but, yeah. So some players that are linked to the Lakers, per uh, jo jo Jovan Buha, Miles Turner, Buddy Heald, Dorian Finney-Smith, Royce O'Neal, Chris, Re well, I'm not going to mention Chris Stops because he's going to get traded probably to the Celtics, and Gary Trent. Well, Gary Trent just signed, uh, just is running it back with the Raptors this year. Now, Miles and Buddy, we've heard that last year, and they ne never got traded to him. They basically want any role player. I wouldn't hate the. If I was a fan, I wouldn't hate this. But Gary Trent Jr. literally just opted in with the Raptors. He's not going to go to the Lakers right now. He, 
it, it'd be stupid to trade assets for a one-year player. And Turner and Hill have been linked to the Leafs for like three years and it's not happened. None, none of these players are going to the Lakers. So per your report here, the Sacramento Kings are, quote, on the chase for Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi. Siakam on the Kings? That would be such a good duo. De'Aaron Fox and Pascal Siakam. But the Warriors, they've also, um, I read this article that they they could try and do something with Toronto uh, involving Jordan Poole, which is interesting because I would like to, I like Pascal, I'd like Pascal Siakam on this team, but I don't know. But the Kings should definitely, I think the Kings and the Warriors are two candidates to get Siakam. So Brandon Miller via Scoop B said, quote, I actually don't think LeBron is to go to basketball. <laughs> I don't know why this is a post. Like. Oh, and then he he said he thinks Paul George is the GOAT. Yeah, he said Paul George. This dude is high. I swear. The Mavericks and the Celtics have discussed a sign and trade for Grant Williams per the Athletic. And this is actually a great move for the Mavericks. I don't know what will be some trade. Well, maybe I don't know what the trade details will be. But I think that's a good move. A good quality role player for the Mavericks is what they need. So, via Rod Boone, Michael Jordan will have the final say of who the Hornets draft. Yep, he's going to make a terrible decision one last time to ruin the future before he leaves. Watch him fumble this before he leaves. The Phoenix Suns have spoken to the Boston Celtics about DeAndre Ayton, per Chris B. Haynes. Um, would this be really a win for both sides? It depends on what the Celtics give up, if they were to somehow trade for him, but they're trading for Port Zingas, so I doubt this report is going to, anything from this report is going to happen. Chuggables Insider floats Portland Travel Agents and Miami has potential destinations for Zach Levine. Miami's not going to get Zach Levine. And I don't think the Blazers have any interest either. I just don't know if Dame and Zach would work. Per dra NBA Draft Wallace, the Atlanta Hawks have explored the idea of trading DeAndre Hunter. This, this is such an unserious team. This would be a big mistake if they traded DeAndre Hunter. So I feel like he's one of their, their underrated players that doesn't get enough talk. Doesn't get enough attention. But if it were to get traded, I would say the Dallas Mavericks should go after him because they need a wing that, that can score, shoot the three. So I would, I would do it. The Nates rejected an offer of two first-round picks for Dorian Finney-Smith last season, per NY Post Lois. Um, yeah. Even if they did, even if they did, they were said to have heavy protection on the picks, so not really first round value. So, Damian Lord says his goal is to win a championship quote. I think it's very important when you talk about how people view me. Of course, people are going to say, You don't have a ring. You see how people talk to Charles Barkley, and he's Charles Barkley. He's a great player, of course. It's at the top of the list for me to win a championship, but I don't think. I don't train and come into season think about anything more than winning to win, wanting to win it this year, end quote. I swear, people are pushing these posts on purpose. Need Dame Miller to cut down on his own man of interviews talking about this. We don't, we don't need to hear this every, every time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's uh, all the news I have to talk about, so... Until next time, math a lot. Peace.